Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been creating this pop up using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, this is how it looks. We have this pop up displayed over here, and we have this skip timer. And after it goes to zero, we can go ahead and skip this ad. And once we skip this, we will not see the ad once again because we are storing this inside a cookie inside the browser. And the cookie will be stored in the browser for 30 days because that's what we have set in the code. And after 30 days, the ad will show up again. Now this is also responsive, so if I decrease the width of the screen, this is how it will look on a mobile device. Right now in this video, I'll show you how to add this pop-up to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and if I go to theme, we can see that I'm using this theme called Contempo Light, which comes by default with blogger. Now we can add this pop-up inside a post or a page or you can even add it inside your whole website. So if you want to add it inside a post, you can just go ahead and uh, open the post. And uh, just go to the HTML view and uh, here you can go ahead and create a style tag. So if you just type style and close this over here, you can add the CSS inside this style tag. And then you can add the HTML after that. And then after that, you can add the JavaScript inside a script tag like this. So this is how you can add inside a post or a page. But in this video, I'll show you how to add this inside your whole website. So for that, you have to go over here to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. Now here you need to add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So let's scroll down and let's find the CSS of the theme. So this is all the CSS of the theme. So let's go to the end of the CSS. Now this is where the theme CSS ends. So let's make some space over here and uh, let's add a comment. I'll just type pop-up add. And let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to a style CSS file and uh, let's copy all the CSS from here and uh, let's go back and paste it over here. So all the CSS has been copied. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste the HTML. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end of uh, the body tag. And here just before the body ends, let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the index.html file. And if you scroll down, here is the HTML for our pop-up. And here we can see we have this pop-up overlay and then we have this pop-up container division and in that we have the images on the left side and we have the text content on the right side. Now you can go ahead and add your own images over here. Just change the SRC to your image links. And you can also go ahead and change this text over here. So we have skip in this many seconds and we have the name of the website and we have all these things over here. You can go ahead and change these to whatever you want. And then lastly we have this visit site link over here. And you can just go ahead and change this hash to the link of your page. So when someone clicks on the visit site button, they'll be taken to that page. And then if you go to the main.js file, we have all this uh, JavaScript over here. And here we have the remaining time, which is five seconds. So right now the ad will skip in five seconds. Now you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. If you just change this to 10, the ad will skip in 10 seconds. And then if you scroll down, we have the create pop-up cookie function over here. And here you can enter the number of days. So I have set it to 30 for now. You can just change this to whatever number of days you want. And if you scroll down, we also have this uh, scroll event listener for the window. And here we are checking whether the scroll amount is greater than 100. Now you can change this to whatever you want. Right now, if you scroll past 100 pixels, the ad will be shown. You can change this to whatever you want. Right now, let's go back to our HTML file and let's copy the HTML. So let's copy from here till here and let's go back to our theme code and let's paste the HTML over here and let's also paste the JavaScript so let's create a script tag for that and let's go back and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this code from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag now here we can see we have some problems in the code so that's because we have this less than symbol over here now since the theme language is XML, you have to change this to ampersand LT semicolon and then everything will be alright. 
right now the last thing we need to do is add the images so right now the images source are set to images forward slash and the image name but in our website we don't have this images folder so for that we have to first of all upload the image somewhere and get the link of the images and paste it over here now for uploading the image i'm using this service called cloudinary.com so you can just go to this website create a free account and log into the account and just go to media library and here let's click on upload and let's click on browse and here we have all the images in our project so let's select all of these and click on open and here we can see all the images have been uploaded now let's go ahead and get the links of these images and paste it inside our theme code so the first link we need to have is the bg2 image so let's go over here to cloudinary and uh, this is the bg2 link so let's click on this button to copy the url and let's paste it over here inside the source right now let's go back and let's copy the link of the bg1 image so let's copy this and let's paste it over here right now let's copy this hero image link so this is the hero image link so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and then lastly we have the hero image small so let's go back and let's copy this and let's paste it over here and then lastly we have this image for the background so let's copy the link and we have to paste it inside the css so let's scroll up and here we can see for the pop-up container we have set the background image to this url so let's replace this with the current url right now let's save this and let's see whether this works and let's open our website so let's click on view blog and here we have the website displayed so let's scroll down a little bit and let's see whether we have the pop-up being displayed and here we can see that the pop-up is being displayed but it is below all the other elements in our website so we need to add a z index so let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to the css and here let's go to the pop-up overlay and we actually don't need to have these two selectors so these were for testing so let's delete these and uh, here for the pop-up overlay let's set a z index and uh, let's set it to let's try 700 and let's save it and let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page and let's scroll down and now we can see we have the pop-up displayed and we also have the timer and everything is working all right now let's click on the skip button and we can see that the pop-up is uh, hidden now if we scroll down again the pop-up will not be displayed even if you reload this page and if you scroll down the pop-up will not be displayed because the pop-up is stored inside a cookie so if you right click over here and click on inspect and if you go over here to application and if you go to the cookies here inside the website if you scroll down we can see that we have this cookie called pop-up cookie and as long as this cookie is inside our browser the pop-up will not be displayed and if i just delete this cookie and now if i refresh this page and if I scroll down, we will have the pop-up displayed once again. So that's basically how you can add a pop-up to your blogger website. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.